Haha, <laughs> ZWC. It's been a long time. Now, ZWC or Zombies World Champion... Zombies World Championship was a tournament created by MC Sports Hawk, and I'm pretty sure it was hosted by UMG. In this tournament, there was four different challenges. One of them was highest round on Verruckt No Jug. Another is Origins First Room. Three is Revelations Easter Egg Speedrun. And for the life of me, I cannot remember what the fourth one is. It's been two years, over two years since this cha uh, this tournament. So, you know, leave me alone. This tournament was one of the biggest things ever to happen in the zombies community and it really held the zombies community together and prolonged the community because in my opinion a month after the release of zombies chronicles the community should have been dead but zombies world championship and the hype it had for it and all the training extended zombies lifetime at by at least three months it was genuinely crazy and amazing, but my time wasn't so amazing. So let me tell you the story. So I think a week in advance, we were told the challenges to start practicing for before the actual like qualification started, right? And I was practicing so hard. I mean, I was playing Origins First Room five plus hours a day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this type of video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below it was insane and i kept on grinding and grinding and i got so good at doing origins first room and this is where i really thought i had a chance to win but i was wrong the reason behind me going so hard on this event and playing so long every day just practicing was because at the time i think it was at 30 or 40 subs on my channel back in june 2017 and i was like man i could really get my channel out there if i won this thing that's what my friend grizzly bomb or you guys may know him as Teo, was thinking too and that gave a motive of us meeting up during the uh zwc which would never happen otherwise because i i think i was fit yeah i was 15 at the time so this was like almost three years ago which is crazy and not only that i would see two of my biggest inspirations ever which would be mr t lexify and the smith plays and these were the huge motives of why i went so hard mc sports hawk was doing a live stream doing a viewing party of people live streaming the challenges and i remember these words ringing in my head for so long and being my biggest motivation to do this i remember him saying to his stream if you're doing origins first room and you're getting a above round 16 you're probably going to win and at this point i think i was easily getting above round 16 each time and getting to round 20 quite a few times as well so i was like man man i can definitely do this i am going to beat this and on the last day of the qualifications i submitted my thing because i was like okay i put like two and a half hours into this game i'm not going to be able to get any more games before the qualification right after qualifying, MC Sports Hawk was doing a live stream, doing a viewing party again for the last day of the qualifications. And I remember seeing Steve, IL Steve IL, on round 59. And my heart literally broke. It, it just shattered into pieces. And the worst part is, Steve didn't even win. I'm pretty sure the guy who did win got to round 63. He didn't go down at all, and he ended up suiciding. And that broke my heart even more. And this was like a ton of emotions mixing together. The confidence that I had that I was going to win the tournament shattered. At the time, this was like fairly new to the injury I got because this was two and a half, like almost two and a half years ago. Like this was when my pain was at its peak. I remember crying and sobbing in tears at my desk that night. Bro, my mom came in and I was like, I won't get to see Mr. T Lexify in the Smith plays. I was so emotional and it was so sad and like i i really did want to see them they were my biggest inspirations ever i love zombies content like 
forever and like those were the two like content creators that i loved loved and i thought it would be so cool to get my an easy channel lift off you know because it really was hard at four, like 30 subscribers or whatever i remember grinding so hard like streaming almost every day and trying to put out at least one or two videos a week and it just wasn't going great obviously it's my first time doing something obviously it's not gonna go great and honestly i look back at it now as a fond memory of the good times that was the last z house which was such a great z house was one of the greatest time periods ever i do forget about 2017 a lot it is definitely overshadowed by su summer 2018 but that was an amazing summer just the fact that i was even able to like dream or have the chance of meeting mr t lexify in the smith plays was just the craziest thing ever because obviously you would never like it would just be like yeah i'm never gonna meet them but then it was like wow i can actually meet them so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my story um you know i just thought this would be a fun idea just to sit down and talk about because I, I've talked about this with a few people, but it's all been on like calls or something. It's never been on stream or anything. And I just really wanted to like talk about it because it, it is really a great memory. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It's really important. And use code NerdPerior in the Fortnite item shop. But don't buy stuff. Love you guys. Peace. Yeah.